My Auntie Iris and Uncle Bill grow the best rhubarb. So this recipe is for them because I know they also love crepes. I've got a really simple recipe to follow. So I'll need 250 grams of plain flour. We'll pop into a bowl. Now the difference between crepes and pancakes, for example, is the flour. Plain flour for crepes so they're nice and thin, self-raising flour for pancakes. We'll also season this flour with a pinch of salt and also a tablespoon of caster sugar. You only need a tablespoon of caster sugar for this because we're going to add the rest with the rhubarb later on and that's for the filling. Now we'll just combine that and I like to make a well in the centre. And then we're going to crack three eggs. One, I like to crack my eggs into a bowl first, just to make sure that we have super fresh eggs and there's nothing wrong with the eggs. Nothing worse than adding it straight to the bowl and then realising you don't have a good egg. And then we'll pop that into the centre, break it up and then just start to incorporate the eggs and slowly bring in the sides of the flour. Now, you can whisk it all together, but it will give you some lumps, so we don't want lumps. So we just slowly, slowly bring in the sides. And now we're ready to incorporate our milk. So we need about two cups of milk. Depending on your flour, you may need a little more milk or a little less milk. Ideally, we're looking for the consistency of pouring cream. Now, I like to rest my crepe batter for at least an hour. And the reason I do this is because we get a much better consistency. It will thicken up in the fridge, so just reserve some of your milk for later on. See how that is too thick at this stage? That's pretty much the consistency of pancake batter. So we're gonna add some more milk. Okay, now just pop some Glad Wrap over the top and then into the fridge. Now, while that batter is resting, let's get on to our crepe filling. So rhubarb and strawberries, they are best friends. I love them together. I'm going to macerate them to start with. So three sticks of rhubarb and I'll grab my knife. We'll just trim them up slightly. And then I want to cut them into two centimetre battens. Always give your rhubarb a really good wash and don't ever use the leaves because they're poisonous and not edible. So take the leaves off when you bring them back from the store or if you're lucky enough to grow them. Okay, that goes onto a tray. And I want some strawberries, so beautiful ripe strawberries. Have a look at these ones. These are just plump and ready to be eaten. The colour combination is just so wonderful. So we're just going to take the tops off all of these strawberries. I'm going to leave them whole too because we are going to roast them later. I want them to stay in their shape. So I'm just going to continue to hull the two punnets of strawberries and we want to leave them whole. Now with your hands, give them a toss, separate them and just allow them to stand for about 20 minutes. This does not need any liquid whatsoever. After 20 minutes, I'm going to pop them into the oven and they're going to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes or until some of the fruit starts to collapse and the juices start to run. OK, 
Okay, so the rhubarb and strawberries have come out of the oven. Look how fantastic they look. And it's almost formed a strawberry and rhubarb jam. So delicious. I'm just allowing that to cool slightly. And here's the batter that we've allowed to rest in the fridge. And let's give it another whisk. And you can see that it has thickened up, so I will add just another splash of that milk. Okay. Now for the fun part, making the crepes. I'm just preheating a crepe pan here. This is a fantastic investment, especially if you like to make crepes as often as I do. And we just need to oil it just with a small splash of olive oil. It is non-stick, so it really doesn't need too much. And then I'll just brush that over so it's quite even. And I always say the first crepe that you make never fully turns out. It's almost just like a test one. So we'll see how we go. So one ladle full. So we're going to place our batter in the centre and give the pan a really good swirl and get that crepe as thin as possible. So all of that excess liquid goes all the way around the rim. Then we'll pop that back on the heat. And you'll actually see some of the steam coming. You know it's ready to turn when it detaches quite easily. So you can see if I jiggle it now, it's not ready. So we'll just wait a few more moments. Now, of course, you can use a spatula to turn this just to make sure you don't break it, but that's very boring. So I like to flip it the classic way. And this is really fun to get the whole family involved. So in one confident flip, Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's how it's done. Nothing's broken and I'm pretty happy with that. You know what, for my first one, it's looking quite thin and spot on. So I'm going to use that one. I always say the first one, <laughs> well, this is what my mum says, the first one always goes to the dog and then after that, they become absolutely perfect and handkerchief thin. So this only needs a few more moments on this side and then I'm going to take it out and we're going to flip it over again and then we're going to stuff it with our lovely rhubarb and strawberries. And it's cooled down. It's just warm. Look at that. Glossy fruit. And don't forget all of this jam-like syrup. We want to add that. And then for something extra special, a dollop of cream. And then I like to fold this and make it into a little parcel. So when you present this or just eat it for yourself, it's like a, a little surprise, if you like, in the centre. So roll it up, pop that onto a plate. And then, because the fruit is looking so good, mix it up to coat it in the syrup add a little more to the top, let it cascade down. That is looking good. Some extra cream. This is for a Sunday morning for sure. <laughs> Quite decadent. And then let's not stop there. A little raining of some icing sugar over the top. Wow. You know, I like the very simplest of crepes with a little sugar and some lemon, but when this is on the cards, well, crepes are taken to the next level. <laughs>